We are at the confluence of the Ohio, Allegheny, and Monongahela Rivers at Heinz Field in Pittsburgh, PA. They love the black and gold here in the Steel City. And a few moments ago, their Steelers emerged from the Heinz Field Tunnel. They're set. We're set as the Steelers are ready to do battle. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there with Derek Carr and the Las Vegas Raiders. Shedding the tackler, and it gives him some room. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. First down yardage on the first play of the drive. Give him 14. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. First rep of the game for Josh Jacobs. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. Give him a first down, 15 yards that time for the Raiders. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times defenses say, okay, we've got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. A good running there by Jacobson first down as he's able to take this forward for a gain of six. All right, Brad, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. At the 39-yard line. Second down at four. Carr going to give it to Jacobs. And he'll get this pretty close to a first down as he's tackled at the Steelers' 34. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. You were telling me this yesterday. This is exactly what they want to do on the opening drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation? We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game, and it's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. A big hitter there, a first down gain of 26 yards. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. Now they'll throw with Carr. And that is caught. But the back judge right there to say incomplete. Henry Ruggs, the intended receiver, but it'll be second and goal. As defensive coordinators around the league tell me all the time, that throw is not for every quarterback because you've really got to drive the ball downfield. It's going to be a tight window for him to fit that one into. In this case, unsuccessfully. On second down, Richard. And he stopped immediately there. Call it no gain that time, and now it's third and goal. Driven it down the field nicely here on the opening drive, but now it's put up or shut up. No doubt about it, because to make that type of a drive and ultimately kick a field goal would feel very disappointing. But I'm just wondering, is the head coach thinking, is this four down territory? Might he go for it? Car now on third and goal. His pass caught at the four. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. A terrific job there to keep him out of the end zone. And now it'll be fourth and goal. One-yard line. Daniel Carlson set for the Raider field goal. From the left hash, he'll have to cut this at a tight angle. The kick by Carlson is good. And the Raiders jump out to a 3-0 advantage. Able to move the ball on that drive. Yes, just three points, but four first downs were in there. Yeah, and you can look at it and feel pretty good about the whole thing and think, okay, this should continue throughout this ball game. On the flip side, if you're a defender, it's almost like whew, we only gave up three. They moved the ball on us pretty well.
After the main field goal, Carlson now sets up to kick this away. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Big Ben and the Steelers with a first and 10 at their own 23. He's back to throw here to start the drive. And yes, complete to the tight end, McDonald. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Seven yards, the pick up there. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. First carry for the 2018 Pro Bowler, James Conner. And this is going to be a Steelers first down as he's got this up to about the 34-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Well, that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Out of the gun, it's Roethlisberger. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. The good signal callers would never go back in the huddle and play the blame game because they need those guys to protect him. But on that last one, his offensive line, they lost their leverage very quickly, and that's why they were able to get to him and hit him as he tried to throw the football and force an incompletion. Again on second and ten, it's Roethlisberger. That ball caught by the former Toledo Rocket, Deontay Johnson. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helps to have a guy who can turn it loose. And, boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Three nothing after one on EA Sports. Raiders three, Steelers nothing. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. From the shotgun, it's Roethlisberger. That went into the hands of his tailback Samuels, and he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Call it a pickup of three, and also now likely a punt on their opening drive. On fourth down, here comes the Steeler punter Jordan Berry to kick it away. Oh, and what a play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. At their own two-yard line. On the ground, it's Jacobs to start the drive. And that'll hurt the average a bit, as this time they're able to get him behind the line. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. They were just trying to get their offense a little more room down near their own goal line, but this is just going to make things worse. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Running is Jacobs. And maybe Shane's in the steel curtain here as the Steeler defense drops him behind the line again. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Right, let's go ahead and detail this situation here. Third and long coming up. Back near your own goal line. I would be very hesitant about throwing the football in this situation. Maybe just run, run up the middle. Yeah, I think that that might be the spot for them. you got to try and find some space for your punter because you don't want him backed up where he has to alter what he does. And he'll get this up to the four right about there, and that's about it. Four yards on the pick up there, but it's going to take him to fourth down. We often talk of situational football. Let's just call it team football. The defense did their job, got off the field, brought the punting situation, so they're turning the ball back over to their offense. You think those guys will get along very well right now? Of course they will. Defense helped the offense. Now it's their turn to take it downfield. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Steeler offense, they're set up nicely as they take over. At the Raiders' 48-yard line. Play fake to Connor. Now Roethlisberger. 
And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. Second and 10 now, it's Roethlisberger. And with a flag down, he goes down. So they're able to sack him. Now the penalty looks like it could be holding. Let's find out. Max Crosby able to run him down for a loss of 12 that time. Finding his safety valve here, that's complete. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down, they just said, we've got faith in our tacklers. We'll give you the short stuff, and just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. The Raiders take over first and Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10 at their own 21. He'll give it to Jacobs to start the drive. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. The tackle made by Devin Bush. Eight yards on the pickup brings up second and two at the 29 yard line. From the 29, Carr, man open, that's Henry Ruggs. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 28 yards the gain there on the catch and run. 28-yard gain. And the Raider first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Now left side on the swing pass. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball, because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage, even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. It'll be a two-yard gain, and that'll lead here to a third down. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get it out to your running back, and it could turn into a big gain downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short gain. He finds Aguilar over the middle. Oh, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. On the left hash, officially it's called a 51-yard attempt. And this is good. He got just enough to clear the crossbar as he drops it in from long distance. And that will add three more to their lead. It pushes it up to six. These kickers now, it used to be that a 50-plus yarder was cause for celebration, now seemingly automatic. Yeah, isn't it funny? When we prepare for a game, when you look at the backgrounds of these kickers, it's interesting, isn't it, to find out they were all-state quarterbacks, receivers, defensive backs, all-state wrestlers, right? Baseball players. We're finding athletes all along, and now they're just specialists putting it through the posts. away
And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you got to figure if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk, this is a big decision here. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. He'll find Juju Smith-Schuster. Now the Steelers use the second of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. Now Roethlisberger on first down. And down he goes. Brought down a Raider sack. Max Crosby able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Now the Steelers going to use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Now they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. Another try after the first down sack. Roethlisberger, he'll find Smith-Schuster. That's complete. Eight yards in the completion, but now they face third down. That's a gain of eight. Brings up third and 13. So a couple of field goals, that's all we've been able to muster through two quarters of play. 6-0 is our count at the break. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, taking it about the one. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And maybe time for this offense to really hit the reset button. They were shut out in the first half, but still, they're right in this game. They certainly are. What I like about it is that you actually continue to play. You know, you just find a way to make a few plays yourself, and you noted it. Right there on the border in this game, they're not that far off. You just got to find a player or two, and they could be very happy at that point. Second and five now. Roethlisberger. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Complete to Jalen Samuels. It's a gain of two. Brings up third and three. They'll try and run for it with Connor. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. Nine yards on the pickup there, and it keeps the drive alive. And that's the big fellas MO right there. Running through tackles, keeping the sticks moving forward. This defense, if you don't bring 11 guys to the ball to try and get him on the ground, he's going to keep making runs like that. I feel the press box shaking every time he touches the rock. Loughlisberger here finding Johnson. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. But that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. On first and 10, it's Roethlisberger. Open man completes it to Smith-Schuster. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Smith-Schuster. It's a gain of eight. Brings up second and two at the 34-yard line. 
Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Shotgun handoff to Samuels. And a short gain down to about the 33. The ball carrier. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. And the Raiders call on a nickel set here for third down. Here's Samuels again. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. 12 yards that time at a Pittsburgh first. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. To throw here, Roethlisberger. Setting up the screen, this is Samuels. And this will be a gain of six when it's all said and done. Down to the 15 from the 21. Jalen Samuels. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four at the 15-yard line. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Gets it to Smith-Schuster on the jet sweep. And he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. Brought down right at no gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. And four. Defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, and one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. Play action. It's Roethlisberger. Now Ben hit, and he lost the football. It's loose, and the Raiders pick it up. He's at the 50, 30, 20. Then it's a huge return as he brings this all the way back down to the 15-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Jacobs now. Man, this play gets blown up. They'll lose yardage back at the 17. Cameron Hayward getting upfield to make the stop. And Cameron Hayward's ability to take on blocks, hold the point of attack, and get upfield serves him very, very well. What a nice play there. Yeah, he can take on blocks because he's built like a block. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Once again, it's Jacobs. And he'll get about three as he's taken down at the 14-yard line. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Throwing his car on third down. Throw right side, going to be caught by Waller. And the Raiders are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Couldn't just sit on it here, could they? Had to throw the ball on third down. Got the big completion in the pickup. Fresh set of downs now. They've got to feel great. And defensively a backbreaker. Now Carr. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option of running play action and maybe throwing it. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. They'll run it with Jacobs. They're able to get a couple here, but won't get across the plane as they stop him right around the one. Short of the so goal. now things get interesting on third and goal from the one. This almost becomes a Darwinian call, doesn't it? Almost survival of the fittest here. I know we can go all cliche. I'll go ahead and do it. 
Who wants it more here? Who has a better leverage at the line of scrimmage? Let's go and see what happens. They'll run with Jacobs, and he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. Josh Jacobs takes it in from a yard out, and the Raiders take advantage of field position on the turnover to cash this one in. I wonder if he changed anything on his play sheet or they just executed better. Because they had two previous drives that ended in field goals before this one they finally were able to put into the end zone. Well, whatever he did, speaking of the offensive coordinator, might be using that formula going forward. It worked there. Yeah, it worked very well. He and his field general in pretty good sync right now. They're starting to move the ball well. And as he approaches to kick it off, he might be thinking this could be a 14-0 lead with a couple of PATs as he sends this one away. And he brings this out past the 20 to the 24. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. And the turnover last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here in this one. Big word. I like it, though, yeah. because you're exactly you right. Like that, don't you? All game long. They've struggled moving the ball, turning it over on the last possession. Is that where it's symptomatic? Yeah, yeah. I like that. Your analysis, symptomatic of the success of this broadcast. What I like is that you gave me the word, and I just kept using it. <laughs> That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Now Roethlisberger. Ebron with it over the middle. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. That one a first down pickup of eight. Now correct me if I'm wrong. You know, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. Throwing now, Roethlisberger on first down. And the Raiders have got him. Max Crosby able to disrupt yet another pass play. That is his third sack of the afternoon. You never want to give up a sack. From the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they let little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride, and they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it. But it's really, really difficult. You're talking about some terrific athletes who are trying to put him on the ground. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. A gain of 11. It's now third and 11. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. Now Roethlisberger to throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Too many zeros on the stat sheet thus far. No touchdown passes, no points for his team, but he remains undaunted. Still attempting to get his team on the scoreboard, firing the ball downfield. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. They're going on fourth down. It's Roethlisberger. Now a desperation. It's caught inside the 25. And he will be taken down deep in Las Vegas territory. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. Well, that's something you haven't had to talk about much this game. A nice big play right there. But this team, overall, they haven't done a whole lot offensively. Well, they're still sitting on the goose egg. We talk about defenses having pride in a shutout. This offense wants to get rid of that zero. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And the Steelers are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. A 
11 more yards that go around. A first down as well. First and goal at the three-yard line. Counting down toward a minute to go in this football game. Again, it's Roethlisberger. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. They were looking for Johnson that time, but it'll be second and goal. Tell you what, partner, after he ices down, he's going to be a nice, long soak in a hot tub after this one. He's been under duress the entire game. And once again, hit as he throws. Fortunate that one wound up incomplete. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. Throwing again, it's Roethlisberger. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. Nick Kwiatkowski able to maneuver in for the sack. Brandon, I think you understand the type of afternoon this offensive line is having. It is a long one for them. Long for you to spend it with me. Long for them trying to block those guys. They've given up a whole lot of sacks, and the speed and quickness of that defensive line is eating them alive. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. LaMarcus Joyner with a pick. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. At their own six-yard line. They'll begin on the ground with Jacobs. And he will take this up to about the eight-yard line. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as they get it with 26 seconds to go in the football game. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. They'd like to avoid punting from their own end zone so they could use something here on third down. They will run out of the gun with Jacobs. And he gets it up to the 10-yard line here. Now the Steelers going to use their third and final timeout as they get it with just 19 seconds left on the clock. Here's A.J. Cole now as he'll punt it away for the second time. Fair catch called for in May, but now we'll have to see about the penalty. Trailing here in the second half, went for the aggressive play, got a little too aggressive. You've got to know when to pull off, or if you're going to go for it, how to take your body across a punter's body and not into it. Not a good play at all. So this one, a victory for the Las Vegas Raiders. And they did it in shutout fashion. Impressive. Would it be too bland of a statement to say they didn't have the greatest day offensively? I mean, uh, Did you know, enough, though. Did enough. But, yeah, you're right. Most games, it wouldn't have been enough. So they've got to go into the locker room and applaud their defensive mates and say, guys, you really carried us today. We'll try and get you back next time. But as for today, you guys were nails out there. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gunn. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we sign off from Heinz Field.